Welcome. So today we're going to start working on our ePortfolios. So the first thing you need to do is to open up a browser and type in Weebly. And it'll bring you to the search results. And you can click on the very first one that says Weebly Website Builder. And then we're going to need to sign up. So if you go to the top right hand corner, there's a little button that says sign up. You can click on that. And you're going to put in your information. Use your school information and password so you remember what it is, please. You can hit sign up. And you can click on the type of website that you are creating and you can put personal. Continue. And then you can make the name of your site. I'm just going to do uh, mine as sample. You can come up with a name for yours. And then we can select a different themes that work for ours. You can kind of get a look at some of them. You can preview them if you click on these, the little blue buttons that pop up. And it will give you kind of a big screen version of what it's going to look like. So you can kind of get a feel for where the tabs are at the top. Kind of the, some of the layouts that this person used down further in the bottom. You can choose whichever one you work, the one that works best for you. So I'm just going to click this one for the time being and if you find one that you like then you can click on in the top right hand corner it says start editing so I can click on that and it's creating my website so when it's done creating then I get uh, kind of the the working screen over here on the right hand side and then I get my dashboard of things that I can do so then you can start altering things a little bit. If you click on these tabs here at the top, okay, this is where you're going to put in those non-negotiable tabs that we talked about, and you can edit them. You can go in here, you can change some of the pictures around. Go back to the home screen for right now. But I don't, my, my name is not Susan, so I can kind of eliminate that just by highlighting it and backspacing and then I'll leave my text box there, but I can start editing some of this information. And if there's something that I really don't want, like there's a learn more box, if I hover over it, there'll be a little X that pops up that I can click on and just hit delete. It's super easy to do. So now at this point, I pretty well deleted everything in here that they had in as one of the samples for you. So I'm, I'm kind of back to the drawing board where I can start adding some things. So one of the things I definitely want to show you before we move forward anymore is how to change some of these tabs at the top because that's going to be one of the things that you definitely need to do today. So if I go up here to the top to my pages and I click on here, these are the same links that are over here along the top of my screen and I can rename some of those. So if I click on let's say my work and let's say I want to make that one my goals, I can put my goals in there and then I can hit the back button because it'll change it up there in my screen if you watch. <clears throat> the next thing that we need to do is uh, change this untitled one. We need to make it our next non-negotiable tab which is my work. And I'm going to hit that back arrow again and it'll change it in the top just like it did the other one. And then I'm going to click on one of the other tabs, the contact tab. We don't need that one, so we can eliminate that one and change it. So I want that one to be reflections. Again, hitting that back arrow. Now at this point, you'll notice there are no other tabs down here for us to just rename. So what we need to do is we need to go up here to this little plus sign and click on that. And it will give us some options for some different pages that we can add. On your non-negotiable list, it also says you need to have a blog. So we're going to click on the blog page and it needs to be just called blog because we're going to do both reading and writing things in here. So that's all you need to do with that one and you'll see it will add it over here along the right hand side for you. So then we can just hit <clears throat> leave that alone hit done and it will create our blog for us. Now we have the five tabs that you need to have in order to um, meet your expectations at least for this part of the ePortfolio.